Win your share of 5 million rand. Get a home loan and get one entry. Open a Nedbank account, move your salary and you'll get another 10 entries. Simply dial star 120 star 762 hash to enter. Make things happen. Nedbank. Now, buying a home is a life-changing event for most people, and it can be quite complex And when one is not sure where and how to start. We have Tim Akinusi with us in the loft, who is the Head of Home Loan Sales and Client Value Management at Nedbank Home Loans, to talk us through some of the key considerations when one has to look at when to buy property. Welcome to the loft, Tim. Thank Lovely you. to have you with us. Thank you. Wow, this is such a nerve-wracking topic for me because it's so... I feel like only the experts can get it right. <laughs> yeah, well, the experts are still learning, so... <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. So when one is considering to buy a home for the first time, what should they, they be thinking about? I think, firstly, they need to understand their personal readiness. So they need to look at their relationship with credit um, because that's the first thing that banks would look at when you go to a bank for funding. So how have you managed your ability to make repayments on small things like your credit cards, clothing accounts, et cetera, et cetera. Then from there, you need to start to look at your affordability because you need to look at what you can afford, not just in the short term, but over a period of time. So uh, we have affordability calculators that you could use to find that out. So in essence, it's your expenses minus your surplus. And uh, you know, that kind of gives you a range mm -hmm. of what you could afford. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, you need to start to look at how much savings that you've had because there's some costs involved, you know, the cost of initiating a loan. And obviously when you are in this dream home of yours, you then need to make sure that you can maintain it. So uh, things like electricity bills, your levies, mm. rates and taxes, etc. So that's then key. And then lastly, your life stage. So what stage are you in your life? Because when you buy a property, you need to buy it for the correct life stage if it's your primary unit. So if you're a bachelor, you want to typically be looking at a bachelor pad or a one bedroom place to start off with and uh, kind of gauge to say, you know, you're going to be in this house for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking to then, uh, you know, settle down, you may want to look for something slightly bigger. So consider your life stage and how soon you are likely to evolve, uh, you know, before then yeah. you know, com committing yourself to yeah. a property. Now, speaking of life stage, what about the house? What should we considered when you're buying a house? So certainly... Or the type the, of house that you're buying. Yeah, so uh, you could either buy a house in an estate or a standalone, which will imply that you're buying in a, fric in a sectional title if it's in an estate, or a standalone that's a full title. So um, I think key considerations would be things like security, um, amenities, where you work, where you socialize, and also what you're looking to get out of the property. Is it your primary residence or are you looking at it from an investment standpoint? Mm -hmm. Because that would determine whether or not you decide to personalize it or to keep it quite, um, I suppose, quite uh, classic. Right. Yeah. And what, what role does the bank play in this whole process and your relationship with your bank? So um, as a bank, uh, the role that we play is obviously to help you fund the place. And um, part of the funding process is also about educating you to understand exactly what channels you can use to acquire a home loan, mm -hmm. um, what costs you need to be looking at to consider. And, uh, you know, and then obviously as you go along, you, know, you can become a little bit more sophisticated in terms of your use of the place or in terms of the, your use of the home loan. So you could either prepay into it um, as a good way to create a little bit of a slush fund for you whenever you need um, ad additional uh, funding. And also, when you've eventually paid that off, hopefully the property has appreciated in value so that uh, when you buy your next place, you have uh, a nice deposit to put down, which will help you manage the loan to value and uh, the rates that we give you in your next place. Wow. Yes. So how has Nedbank partnered continuously with home buyers in the past 20 years? We've got a long history with um, being able to fund people's homes, mm -hmm. many South African homes. And um, for us, what we've, we've tried to do over the last 20 years is constantly make sure that anybody that takes out a bond from us is able to sustain that and to ensure that this continues to be an asset for them mm -hmm. over the long term. Mm -hmm. So part of our um, strategy is to create easy channels uh, for people to get access to a bond, to create a lot of education right. around um, the various options they have for property. So they can either do a buy to let, you can either buy property for investment or choose to build something. 
So we've tried to make sure that we, we cater for you know, everybody's needs mm. at whatever life stage that, mm. that they're at at that point in time. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Jim. It's a pleasure. So make sure when you're buying a home, you understand all the associated costs and do your homework properly. For more information, you can go to www.netbank.co.za forward slash home loans and read up on their buyer's guide. Win your share of 5 million rand. Get a home loan and get one entry. Open a Nedbank account, move your salary and you'll get another 10 entries. Simply dial star 120 star 762 hash to enter. Make things happen. Nedbank.